I'm Elizabeth Bennett, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about nerve impulse conduction. So this is a neuron, arguably the most important cell in your entire body. It allows you to think, have feelings, emotions. It allows you to be able to solve difficult math problems. It keeps your heart beating, and it's a very important little cell. So the way that all of this works is through electrical signals passing between neurons. So it begins when the cell is in a resting state, like it is over here meaning that there is a negative charge inside of the cell and a positive charge outside of the cell. This is because potassium ions, while they do exist inside the cell and they're positively charged, they're at a way lower concentration than things such as proteins, phosphates, um, which are all negatively charged, and therefore the overall charge inside of the cell is negative. Now, outside of the cell, in the ECF, you have a very high concentration of sodium ions, which are positively charged. Now, the difference between these two charges is called the resting potential. And this cell is in its polarized state. So now the impulse begins in the axon terminal of this cell as it goes and moves across into the dendrites, which are these branches of this cell. That signal then passes into the soma, which is this cell body here of the cell, building behind the axon terminal. And this is gonna build up until it reaches a certain threshold. Once this threshold is reached, um, the signal is going to move into the axon of the cell, and as it goes, it's going to open up sodium channels, which allows sodium to flood into the cell, and this is going to make the inside of the cell very positively charged, depolarizing the cell, as it's called. So now, as soon as those sodium gates close, potassium gates are going to open, allowing potassium to move outside of the cell. So now we're kind of at the opposite spot of where we started. So now this, after this is completed and after this has moved all the way through the cell, we've got to move back to where we started because if we don't get back to the state that we were in before with potassium inside and sodium in a high concentration outside, the cells can't conduct another impulse. So in order for this to happen, sodium potassium pumps, which are different from the sodium and potassium channels, are going to use active transport to move two potassium ions into the cell for every three sodium ions that leave the cell. And this is gonna gradually bring us back to the polarized resting state that we were at in the beginning.